Dow is surging this morning. All the indexes really are. But it plunged yesterday. That has been the story. The last couple of weeks, really, you think about it. You look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average there. That is a 10-year chart, folks. What does this all mean? Where are we going from here? That's a big question. J.C. Peretz is the founder of Eagle Bay. He's a registered chartist, and he is here. Help us make sense of the charts. J.C., man, good to see you. What's going on? Likewise, Paul. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. So, a lot of movement in the indexes. A lot of ups, a lot of downs, a lot of ins, a lot of outs, right? Uh, we just showed that 10-year chart. What are you looking at? When you look at the Dow, what are you seeing? Well, I think it's important to uh, really define who you are as an investor and what your time frames are, what your, you know, mm -hmm. what, what are your time horizons. And I think bigger picture, I think things look fine. We're still in a bull market, secular bull market, making all-time highs. All-time highs aren't a bad thing, right? Contrary right. to popular belief, these are all good. Short term, however, you know, we had a failed breakout in September. I, I hate when you see failed breakouts the week before, like holiday weekends so that we did in Labor what Day. What exactly does that mean? Because we did hit an all-time we yeah. Dow. The Dow hit an all-time We, high. we. Well, maybe for you, not for me, <laughs> being an outside observer. Uh, so the, the Dow hits an all-time high, but you're calling that a failed breakout. What does yeah. that mean? So yeah. When, 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 when markets are bumping up against resistance, overhead supply, the Dow is actually a beautiful example of that, and then breaks out to new highs and fails very quickly, mm -hmm. hangs out there for a couple days and then comes back okay. below that, that's bad, especially when momentum is rolling over on those new highs yeah. and doesn't confirm that. That's exactly what we saw. And then the old saying is, from failed moves come fast moves in the opposite direction, hence the volatility that you just mentioned. So I think for now, um, I think we can be bearish or neutral um, over the short term and and uh, big picture, we look fine, but I think we're, I think we're definitely heading lower in stocks. What number, and, and look, the, the Dow was down sharp yesterday, uh, up today, but what number, what level are you looking at that would have you say, okay, this is more than just the usual kind of volatility? Well, remember, the Dow is really has been the safe haven. You yeah. know, uh, small caps, the Russell 2000 down uh, over 10% right, we'll since March. We'll talk about that next. We'll talk about that next. We'll Fair enough. That next. So I think that on the Dow... Dow you know, I'm looking at 16,600-ish. Yeah. Um, there's, there's support there. If we start breaking that, I would start getting a lot more worried. Uh, but right now, that seems like some yeah. pretty solid support. That's only 3% lower. And, and you're right. The Dow, you know, 30 blue chip stocks, obviously safe haven. Talk about the Russell 2000, small caps, much more volatile. That is a 10-year chart right there, folks. And if you kind of draw a line from that 2009 low to the right, you can kind of see where the index has been, you know, supported by that yeah. invisible line. Have we seen a breakout? In we, the, we've a seen a breakdown. Break yeah, right, we have. Down. The small caps have broken that uptrend from the 2009 yeah. lows. Uh, so have mid caps, mm -hmm. um, the mid cap 400, and so have the micro caps. So that's a problem because think about it, Paul. If you're a money manager and you're putting money to work, if you think the market's going higher and you want to speculate, yeah. you're going to make more money in theory in the smaller cap names. And money's coming out of that and mm -hmm. hiding in the larger cap names. Bigger picture, that's an issue. That's a problem. Uh, so put, put this all together for me now, put yeah. this all together. Where does all this take the markets? In the short term, I think sure. it's a negative. I think that the, 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 the weakness that we're seeing in the micro caps, the small caps, the mid caps, is being, um, the large caps are kind of hiding that because mm -hmm. the d down making all-time highs. That's what we all focus the, on. Right. Exactly. Right, right. But underneath the surface is a problem. In, in, in the third quarter, s over 70% of stocks in the New York Stock Exchange were, were down. <laughs> um, that's a big problem. Six, over 60% of the S&P 500 was down. Again, another yeah. problem. So underneath the surface, we're seeing weakness. So I think in the short term, you could fade any strength in stocks. Um, bigger picture, I think we're right. fine. Uh, but if you're a short-term trader, investor, I would be very, very, very careful. Yeah. All right, JC, excellent. Good to see you, man. Thanks. Thanks for having me.